Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a fun video for you. Today we're going to go over my top 10 consumable items from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has a lot of things to offer to us, but one of my most favorite things to get at Harbor Freight are consumables. So I'm going to show you guys what I use and what I usually pick up when I go to Harbor Freight to make sure I have on hand. Real quick before we get into this video, in case you're wondering what a consumable is, and most of you probably know, but I feel like I should say it anyway, a consumable is anything you intend to use once or twice and throw away. Maybe sometimes more than, than a couple times, but it, it has a short life expectancy. Also, I will say that there are a lot of other things at Harbor Freight that are considered consumables that I don't have experience with, so I didn't feel right making a video on them. I just wanted to go over the top 10 thing items that I usually use and because I have experience with them and I can speak to them. Let's get into our top 10 list right now. All right, coming in at number 10, and this list isn't necessarily in any sort of order, is uh, these two inch webbing straps. These are two by six foot. These are awesome for just general general use grabbing stuff uh, logs picking up logs with the tractor uh, towing light things this, this isn't really a tow strap but you can get away with towing light things um, mostly lifting type of applications I consider these consumables because they do tend to wear out pretty easily they get frayed and sometimes you tie them in knots and the knots won't come up I use these all the time for lifting logs and stuff stuff like that number nine is going to be PPE and most uh, specifically are these earplugs because this is a pack of re uh, disposable earplugs these can be reused uh, several times but you know after a couple of uses you want to toss them and get a fresh pair but uh, these are these are my favorite kind of earplugs they fit in the ear nice and comfortably. You don't even notice they're there. But they have other PPE gear I don't typically buy from them. Uh, stuff like safety glasses and different kinds of respirators. Um, I believe they have vests and hearing, uh, hear, other types of hearing protection. But this is the, the one PPE item I do buy from Harbor Freight. And I have had good luck with them and I like them. Number eight, sandpaper. And these are the five inch PSA stick-on sanding disc for your orbital sanders. So I get these in assorted grits. Nice to have on hand for different projects. Uh, not the highest quality sandpaper in the world, but it will get the job done and it's cheap enough. Uh, I like to use sandpaper like it's free. Once it stops cutting, I, I get a fresh pad. So I don't like to spend a lot of money on sandpaper unless sanding uh, metal, then I want a nice uh, wet dry sandpaper. But these are, these are fantastic for general use. Coming in hot at number seven is the moving blanket. <laughs> this thing's, these things are awesome. They have a couple different sizes. This one's a 72 by 80. These things are always on sale. Uh, they're heavy duty, thick blankets, obviously made for moving, but there's like a hundred other uses for these things. I like having them around to uh, cover things up that I don't want to get scratched. Uh, moving, uh, not that I move a lot, but if I were to move, I have plenty of these blankets on hand. I also like to throw them on the ground when I'm crawling underneath a vehicle. That's why I consider these consumable because once they get all greased up and uh, dirty, I just toss them and break out a fresh one. They're cheap enough that uh, washing them really isn't necessary, although you probably could. I just don't see any point. They're super cheap. But the indisposable, is that the right word for this? Moving blanket. Number six, razor blades. This is another item that I keep in the shop and I use it like it's free <laughs> because once a uh, once a razor blade is dull, I like to swap it out for a fresh one. And I I you go I go through razor blades like you wouldn't believe. I use these for everything: scraping, cutting. Use them in the leather work all the time. 
I have several different types of razor blade knives that accept these, uh, I'm not gonna take them out of the package, but these triangle type razor blades. So good razor blades, very cheap, nice to have around. Good consumable to buy from Harbor Freight. Number five is zip ties, but I'm gonna throw in a couple extra bonus items and you can thank me the later. Uh, I consider these to be similar to zip ties, but obviously good old standard 11 inch black zip tie. These are my favorite. They, they're a good size. They fit a lot of things, but now they have these Velcro straps and these are awesome for cables for um, you can fix this to a, an extension cord or a cable and then wrap your cable up and then have a nice Velcro tie to hold it nice and tidy. I love these things. But they have them in a couple sizes. These are seven inch reds. And then these are the uh, 10 inch blacks and they're a little, they're a little bit uh, bigger. And then this is just a roll of velcro so you can make it whatever size you want but excellent <clears throat> excellent consumable to buy from harbor freight these uh get used a lot around here anytime i wrap up a cable or rope or something i'm reaching for these guys and then zip ties How do i need to tell you guys all the uses for a zip tie i'm sure you guys all know Coming in at number four, I think we're at four, gloves. Yes, gloves. Uh, so I like to grab the nitro gloves. The five mil thickness seems to be decent enough. A nice middle of the row. I know they have them in different thicknesses, but uh, I generally grab the five mil nitro. I use these all the time. Um, early in my mechanic years, I didn't wear gloves and I started wearing gloves and now I, I, it, I find it hard to work on anything without gloves. I, I really like not having to scrub, I mean my fingernails are still dirty, but not having to scrub my hands constantly, especially in the winter time, your hands get dried out and they start bleeding. Gloves really help. They also have other kinds of gloves, obviously. I grabbed these uh, because they're a, uh, a cotton, nitro mix so the back side's cotton and then the inside is a nitro gives you a nice grip these seem pretty heavy duty i i'm including these because uh you know there's many kinds of gloves at harbor freight i used to buy their mechanics gloves and when i went there to buy these i didn't see the ones i used to buy so i'm not i don't have any experience with the new mechanics gloves but the old ones they used to sell were, were actually pretty decent. I tried finding a pair around here, but I must have worn them all out. But uh, yeah, gloves at Harbor Freight, who knew? Coming in at number three, paint brushes. <laughs> so these are acid brushes. I use these things mainly for glue applications, but you can use them for other stuff. I have used them for uh, doing some kind of paint work not you know like just nothing that's important because this is a very abrasive brush or it's not very fine but for glue ups these are awesome and then i bought i have an i keep an assortment of these paint brushes on hand these are the one inch the one inch is the ones i probably use the most but they're just a general paint brush uh, again they're good for applying glue they're awesome for putting anchor seal on logs the wider ones are nice for doing things like uh, brushing away metal chips or filings when you're you're filing your axe. You don't want to get your hand near that edge, so grab a paintbrush and brush it away. But uh, I wouldn't uh, paint my house with these, but for rough applications, stuff like boiled linseed oil, maybe some some sealants, stuff like that. These are they're great to have. They're cheap 
throwaway brushes you know when you get done with it you don't clean it you just throw it in the trash great consumable to think about when you're at harbor freight and down there in our list so number two towels and rags um i didn't buy any towels this time i have plenty on hand but they do sell the 100 percent cotton towels and they sell the mechanics rags at very good price but they also sell these blue towels and i use these for everything i generally have them on a uh paper towel holder and you, I, you get the I get the rolls but I saw this this guy here and it is refillable so once you buy this you can just buy a uh, blue towel refill but you can mount this on the wall or you can get rid of that mount and just carry this around with you in your toolbox or your side by side or whatever you want but um, that's it's a great product to uh, to have on hand I use these I use these all the time I've been using blue towels for years so I guess they're called shop towels but they're blue shop towels and are made with 40 percent uh, recycled fibers so hey it helps save the environment and finally last but not least number one on our list is the five gallon bucket uh, I know you're shaking your head right now but come on you always need five gallon buckets and I don't know what happens to them they just disappear I don't know where they go they go to like five gallon bucket heaven or something or they, they all get together and have a party out in the woods but I, I feel like I have probably a hundred buckets around here and I can't find any so um, usually pick these up when I see them not every trip but they're they're pretty cheap I think they're like five bucks I don't know they're cheap but it's a nice you know five gallon bucket and I can't tell you but there's like 10 billion uses for a five gallon bucket so yeah grab yourself a Harbor Freight five gallon bucket you know they gave these away one time too they were giving them away as like a free gift one weekend uh, I don't remember what that was but you know keep your eye on Harbor Freight you might get one for free guys I'm gonna throw in a couple bonus items here because I, I forgot about them but they're actually <laughs> one of the greatest things that uh, Harbor Freight sells and that's miscellaneous hardware kits so they have I don't maybe hundreds of different hardware kits like this that are in little plastic cases everything's nice and organized and like this one here is your plastic push pin assortment you know found on automotive applications you know I've even got this style inside the tractor I need to replace a couple so this will come in handy for that but uh, you know they sell all kinds of little hardware kits here's a linchpin kit you know this is a nice assortment of tractor linchpins and uh, they sell you know hard uh, o-ring kits screw kits wall anchor kits it's it's insane there, there's a huge selection of these type of kits at harbor freight so don't overlook those when you're um, at harbor freight definitely worth the money stuff like this you don't need to spend a lot of money on this definitely you know it's not a grade 8 hardware item or anything like that handy to have on hand for whenever you're doing a project something like this little pin, uh, push pin could be the difference between finishing a job today or having to finish it tomorrow so hardware okay kits. guys so that's going to wrap up my top 10 list of harbor freight consumables I hope uh, this was helpful for someone and I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing with you guys what uh, things that I buy at Harbor Freight. I don't even think Harbor Freight knows who I am and nor do I think they care. I think they probably sell enough crap without the help of social media. So uh, for good reason too, they, they, make it, they make it hard. It's a lot of their stuff is very inexpensive and here lately it's been pretty good but stuff like these consumables you really can't go wrong i wouldn't i wouldn't like you know an acid brush what's it need to do it needs to spread some glue like how how high of a quality acid acid brush brush do you need bucket speaks for itself so anyways hope you guys enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching